Hi loves, I'm back with another um, Your Question, Our Response video. So, want to get straight to it. Um, how do you cope with, cope, get over a broken heart in terms of being able to cut all communication and move on? Also, be able to not be scared that, that the next person will do the same thing. Awesome. I am so sorry that you had to experience um, a broken heart. I definitely know what that feels like back in the day and it's not a good feeling um what i would suggest because you're in a state where you're vulnerable may you may be vulnerable i don't say i'm not gonna say that you are vulnerable but with that you know you're in a place where um i'm quite sure it hurts you know but um i would just say for me what i would suggest is that you pray you you read the bible that you get scriptures and things of that nature and um to, to help you out through this whole little journey, this whole process. Um, you don't want to become bitter. So the best thing is you need to become better through this situation. You need to find strength and strength in Christ so that you can move on, so that you can become a better person and to know that the next person will not do the same. Simply because not no one person, no two people are the same whatsoever. Their genetic makeup, the way that they act, their personality is not the same. You may have some, some similarities, but no two people are the same. So with that being said, I don't want you going in with a whole mindset that the next person is going to do the same thing. That's it's not good to have. It's not a good mindset to have. Um, how do you, being able to cut all communication, you have to want it. You have to have a desire within you to want to get over it, to want to move on. Um, you have to just kind of like talk, like really be like, Lord, like when I want something, I'm like, Lord, and I know it's something that God is putting on me. Lord, please allow me, help me, Lord, to get through this. Lord, give me the strength, please, Lord. And I'm just, I'm just there at my knees just praying earnestly just i'm there and you need to do that lord please take this person out of my life lord make allow me to make steps lord where i'm like really going towards what i need to do like i'm really making steps towards what is best for me um the next person um is not gonna it's not gonna be the same it's just not unless you stay in a position where you're bitter and you don't want to move on then that's how you attract the same person they will see those things that you've gone through they'll see your weaknesses they'll see your insecurities so in this time you want to take this time this time you want to take this time to become better you want to take this time to become um just like i said better <laughs> so yeah um Getting, I'm not going to say getting over a broken heart is not easy, but if you really want it, you're going to definitely take steps towards that. So it can be easy for you. It can be hard for the next person, but I just say you have to really want it in your heart. Um, I have a couple of scriptures that will definitely help you. That's um, Psalm 34, 18. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed, saves the crushed in spirit. Um, Psalms 147.3, he heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. So those are um, a lot, um, basically the scriptures that I have, just meditate on those and ask God, Lord, I don't want to stay in this place. I don't want to be in this position and really just make an effort to move on. Ask him for strength during this time. So that's what I would say. Just take this time to really just get to know who you are, who get to know who Christ, Christ is um, in your life and just put him like at the head of your life so i'm hoping that you're a christian and <laughs> that you take this advice and um yeah so that's pretty much all i can say you just, th th through this process you want to become better and not bitter so yeah that's it so guys until next time i'll see you later